Camera Girl has left town. So the moment she uh, left the city limits, I went out and I bought these chips. I'm gonna make some Reese's peanut butter toasted oat bars, but I'm gonna cut them into little squares. So they're gonna be like little treats. But, I, but you can use any of these chips for this recipe. I've made versions of this, you know, with the chocolate, the butterscotch, and the Reese's this week. And I think the Reese's is my favorite. Depending on what kind of mood you're in, but this is the mood I'm in, so that's what I'm making today. And since they're toasted oat bars, the first thing I'm going to do is toast my oats. And I'm just using old-fashioned rolled oats. And I'm also going to toast my nuts when I toast my oats, so everything will be nice and toasty. So I'm going to take my oats and put them in a baking pan, and then kind of spread them out. And then I'm going to take my almond slivers and put them on the pan too, and spread those out. And I want to keep my, my oats and my nuts separate because I'm going to take uh, my oats after they're toasted up. I'm going to take a little bit of this and grind it up and make some oat flour. So I've got my oven preheated to 300 degrees and I'm going to take my oats and nuts and slide them in here and let them toast away. And then uh, I'll check on them in about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, everything's been in the oven for about 10 minutes. And my nuts are toasting faster than my oats. So I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the pan. And I'll just set my nuts aside. Then I'm going to stir my oats up. And I'm going to put these back in the oven for a few more minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty. So I let my oats go for another five minutes. You just need to be mindful when toasting your oats and nuts together uh, that you'll have to take out your nuts probably sooner because they'll, they'll generally toast a little bit quicker at 300 degrees. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give my oats just a couple of minutes to cool down and then I'm going to take about half those oats and blend them up into an oat flour. Now my oats are cooled down where I can handle the pan easily. So let me go ahead and get them in a bowl here. Or most of them in a bowl. Then I'm going to take about half of them and blend them up into a flour. Boom! Lickety split. Now I'm going to take me a little bit of a bigger bowl. I'm going to throw a little coconut oil in there. Alright, and then I'm going to add a little bit of pure maple syrup. You know, it's got a little leaf on there, so I know it's from Canada. Now if you wanted to, you could use honey instead of maple syrup. But I think uh, maple is a great flavor for this. Then I'm going to whisk these liquids up. And I'll add in my whole oats. And my nuts. And my oat flour. And I'll mix these ingredients up thoroughly. Now once I've got these ingredients folded together, I'm going to go ahead and take me a flat square dish and line it with some parchment paper. And then I'm going to take about half of my oats, maybe a little bit more than half, and I'm going to put it in my dish. I'll go ahead and spread my oats out nice and flat and even. Now I'm going to kind of compact them pretty tightly in here. And then I'll have these other half of oats to top the dessert with. Now I got me a pan with a little bit of water in it, and I'm going to go ahead and heat this water up. And you want to make sure you've got a smaller pan to put inside your pan. We've got kind of a little double boiler action going on here because we're going to melt up our peanut butter chips. And then if you notice that your other burner comes on, uh, you can just go ahead and turn that off and then turn on the burner under the pan because that'll be like 10 times more effective. Now I'm going to throw about a tablespoon of butter in my pot here. Once my butter melts, I can throw in my chips. And your chips will melt up pretty quickly. And don't walk away from your chips. You know, just keep stirring them until they've smoothed out. And to my melted chips, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of coconut milk. This will help to make my chips a little more liquidy. Get it stirred together nice and smooth. Okay, that looks smooth enough to me. So oh, we don't want to waste time here. We want to get this on our oats as quickly as possible. Get every little sweet peanut buttery drop out of here. 
and we'll go ahead and smooth it out. So I got it smoothed out all the way to the edges. It's still pretty soft right now though, so I'm going to wait and then I'll add my oat topping. I don't want to do it right now because this is too soft and some of it might uh, bleed through when I try to press it in there and it'll become kind of messy. So it's best. I mean, you could do it right now, but if you wait a few minutes, uh, your results will look a lot better. While that peanut butter is firming up, you can go ahead and do all the uh, pan licking and spoon licking you need to do. All right, so it has been about 20 minutes. This has firmed up quite a bit. You know, I went and did uh, some push-ups and sit-ups for a little bit to justify what I will eventually be doing to this. But now that it's firmed up a bit, you know, I can go ahead and top it uh, with the rest of my oats. Now, if I did this too soon, then the oats just might sink into it, which I didn't want to do because I'm going to press these oats down on here a little bit firmly. And it's easier to do if your uh, peanut butter filling has firmed up a bit as well. You know, I reserved enough of my oats to cover it completely. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a flat spatula. Kind of press it down. Compact it nicely. So that when this is hardened up and I cut it later, you know, I'll have some nice firmly condensed pieces. You know, we're pretty much done with this now. We just got to give it a little time to firm up completely. And that'll take about three hours in the fridge, you know, for it to become like a little hard block. Uh, but hopefully I'll let it sit overnight. We'll see how my willpower holds out. Okay, it is the next day. And as you can see, I got a completely new refrigerator. And I got a camera person. Go on down here, camera person. And we're okay. going to see what it looks like today. So it's been sitting in the fridge for about 24 hours. But like I say, you really only need to have it in the fridge. Oh, for... it looks delicious. Yeah, it came out kind of perfect and it's rock solid. And that's what you want. You know, you don't want to, uh, when you first make it, you know, dig into it because it's going to be kind of soft. But let me turn it upside down. And get it out of here. Hold on, you got to get on there. What are you doing? You're about to get fired. Am I supposed to, huh? am I supposed to touch something? Oh, uh, no. Let me see. Is it recording? No, it's doing good. Get down uh, here. Uh, Can uh, you see this in there? Yes. All righty, because this is the big reveal. We don't want to miss this shot. Okay. Oh, it peels off nice. Well, you know, that's why you put parchment paper, because it's just easier. Yeah. Now, I could cut these into some longer bars, and I am going to do that, but then I'm going to cut them into some smaller squares, too. Oh, well, it's not, don't look too hard to cut. No, 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 it's very easy, but let me get it over here so we can get a close-up on there. Is it in focus? Yes. All right, and you can cut these into whatever size you like. Wow. So even though this is a half order that I made, you can see it still makes quite a little bit. That's a lot. In the middle, that's peanut butter. Yeah, I used uh, Reese's peanut butter chips. Now, come on up here for the taste test. You ready? Uh-huh. Ooh. Okay, you guessed that it. My camera person was Mama Redbuck. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Did you get a big enough piece to taste it? Mm-hmm. That's very good. Yeah, they're super-duper delicious. Is it hard to chew? No, it's not really. I mean, you don't have real teeth, so that's a challenge for you. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that uh, I still got a full set of choppers. Well, you shouldn't tell everybody I don't have real <laughs> teeth. <laughs> so, you have a beautiful smile, me mom. And you paid a lot for it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye. Bye.